Hello everybody, my name is Ben and hopefully I'm going to be the person that provides the naked life drawing at the hen party that you're organising. Sometimes it's birthday parties or other special occasions but most of the time it is for a hen party. Um, I've been doing it a long time, I've been doing it since 2013. I've done hundreds and hundreds of hen parties and originally when I first started doing it I was just doing it for some body confidence I was just curious to give it a go some of my friends were doing life drawing modeling at art classes and I fancied giving it a go and I was looking online and I found a website about hen parties I'd never heard of it before I didn't even know it was a thing and I, I, I contacted the company and I went and did one and I just carried on doing it and I've been doing it so long now it's just a part of my life now the, the weird thing is about the hen party entertainment business is is unregulated obviously so a lot of the times you can book someone to come and you know like a, a stripper or a buff butler or a, a life drawing and you don't really know what you're going to get it's, it's kind of hit and miss because there's there's all different companies and a lot of the different companies and agencies they use all the same guys anyway and sometimes they struggle to find someone who's available and they'll just kind of send anyone and it could be a little bit hit and miss you never quite know what you're going to get you know some of the guys are great some of the guys are not so great and you, you don't know until they arrive. Now, I'm unusual. I'm very organized. Um, I've been doing it a long time. I'm very professional. I take a lot of pride in making sure that every hen party group, every event, uh, everybody has a good time. I make everybody feel included and comfortable. I make sure the bride has a good time. I make sure you get all the photos you want. If there's mums and aunties or older generations in the group, I make sure they all feel included. So. I, I'm unusual, you know, I, I'm probably one of the most experienced hen party entertainment entertainers out there, you know, and I've worked for my, most of the other agencies. So when you Google online and you see the other companies, I've worked for all of them. So um, so you're kind of you're kind of getting the real deal when you when you work with me. Now, I don't use an art tutor. And the reason is. Um, when I first started doing it, I would always work with an art tutor because the company would send the model and the art tutor and there's pros and cons with that because, you know, the art tutor sort of adds some art tips and stuff. But to be perfectly honest, they kind of get in the way and spoil the fun. It's actually more fun when I can when I can t talk to the people in the group and there's more of a banter. There's more, you know, there's more of a back and forth and it actually flows a lot better. And I picked up enough tips and tricks over the years to know how, how to guide people on the artistic side. So it's that even though it might sound like it would be better with the art tutor, actually, they just get in the way. And it's actually more fun if you if you just got me right. <laughs> OK, so um, now I understand there's a lot of work involved with organising a hen party, isn't it? If you're the person that's been trusted to organise the weekend, there's a lot to take care of. You've got to choose the location, you've got to book a house, you've got to book the activities, you've got to organise the schedule to fit everything in, you've got to get the money off people, you've got to figure out who's, who's serious, who's coming, who's not, all the drama, all the WhatsApp groups. I know, it's a, it's a lot to organise, so I realise that. And what you can do, if you want to just book me with a deposit, and you don't have to commit to how many people is going to be in the group because people drop out, new people get added. You don't really know, don't you? So, so you don't want to commit to a certain amount of money, do you? So, so what I suggest is drop me an email. Um, we'll, we'll check the availability, confirm a time. We'll get it locked in with a deposit. And then nearer the time, you can settle the remainder nearer the time. So you can, I'll, I'll drop me an email, I'll say, okay, what's the final number of participants? Okay, there's going to be 12 people or whatever. And then we can settle it nearer the time. So I try and remove the stress for you. Now on the day, there's nothing you need to prepare other than making sure there's a space for us to do it in, make sure everyone's relaxed, everyone's got a drink, everyone's got somewhere to sit. That's all you need to worry about. I will do everything on the day. You know, I'll do all the talking. I'll explain everything. Some of the frequently asked questions that people ask is, do you have to be good at drawing? Do you have to? And the answer is no, you don't. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of all that. Some people in the group will may be good at drawing and some people may be complete beginners. There'll be a variety, but I'll handle it all. I'll do all the talking. You don't have to worry about it. Um, I bring the sketch pads and the charcoal and I, most of the time it's nice to keep it a surprise for the bride. Um, it's up to you, of course. 
Um, Because sometimes the bride knows what they want to do and they say, oh, I want to do naked life drawing. Or sometimes it might be a surprise for them. So when I arrive on the day, I'll text you and you can sneak me into the house discreetly and I'll get changed into a a dressing gown. I'll give you the sketch pads and the charcoal and you can get everyone congregated. And then I'll sort of make a bit of an entrance, you know, introduce myself to the bride. You can take photos if you want and then I'll I'll do all the talking from there. Um, So... Sometimes people are worried that it might be a little bit embarrassing or awkward or cringeworthy. Don't worry about that. I always keep it tasteful. I always keep it light. I always keep it fun. There's never any awkwardness or embarrassment. Some people worry that it might be a bit too serious. Um, Don't worry about that either. I will keep it fun. It won't be boring. Nothing like that. It's a really good activity, actually, and a lot of people find that it's the highlight of the weekend. Even though it's just drawing, it's actually a really good laugh and it's really memorable and you can get some nice photos and it's really good. And also what's good about it is a good daytime activity. So we could do it on the the Saturday daytime, you know, in the afternoon, in in the morning, after breakfast, however you want to do it. Or sometimes we do it late at night. For example, if you arrive on a Friday, we could do it, you know, before you have dinner, after you have dinner, something like that. I'm used to everything. I've seen it all. So, you know, we could, we could do it at 11 o'clock at night if you wanted to. Everyone would probably be a bit too drunk by then, so it's probably not a good idea. But, you know, however you want to do it, I want to make your weekend special. My reviews on Google are all five star, all of them. Go and check them out. Um, so even though it's fun, I take it seriously and I make sure, you, you know, you... you that you're booking with the right person when you book with me. So drop me an email or give me a call and let's get it sorted. Bye for now.